I just recently got a new pickup truck and I decided I wanted to go ahead and protect it with something that I've already tried out on my wife's car and it is definitely worth the money. This is a quality American made product that will protect your vehicle and I absolutely recommend this. So it's the WeatherTech Floor Liner. I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing here but what I wanted to show you was these are the original General Motors floor mats for my Colorado. When I ordered it, I requested that they do not take it out of the packaging. They do not install it at all. I just asked them to put the uh, regular paper liners that they put when they, uh, say, do oil change and that sort of thing. Just put those on the floor because I'm going to order mats for the vehicle. Temporarily, what I did was I put the original floor mats from my... 2004 Dodge Ram in the truck. Not long after getting the Dodge Ram, I ordered the Mopar Premium floor mats for the truck. They come with a molded uh, uh, Dodge Ram logo in there and, and whatnot. So I saved the original floor mats. So that's what I've been using for about two weeks in the truck. Let's go ahead and get to unboxing the floor liner. Just use the buck knife here. I ordered this on a Monday and it showed up on a Wednesday. And just in time too, because we've had a lot of snow this week and it's, uh, this, this Michigan environment, it'll tear up your vehicle. It's just something, if you're not, if you're not from the north or, or you haven't lived in a place with a lot of snow and road salt, uh, it's a little bit hard to convey, but this environment will destroy your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get these out of the box here. So, this is a front, and it's got grommets here to attach to the factory, factory mounts. So those are both fronts. And here's the rear. It's one piece, and this is, it's kind of like a neoprene rubber kind of uh, material. It's, it's flexible, but it's, it's very durable. And in here, there's some instructions and a packing list, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and get out to the truck and get them installed. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the front passenger side, and if you can read this here, it's marked... Front right, it shows orientation on the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. So here's the front passenger side. Let's go ahead and take out this Chrysler mat. And this one doesn't have any grommets to hold the, uh, the floor liner in place. All right. That just went right in there. I didn't have to move the seat or anything. You can see it lines right up with the edge of the seat. Camera works not exactly the best. And it comes up here right underneath the dash. And it blends with the color pretty well, I think. I ordered these in black. Let's go ahead and take care of the one for the back seats. Okay, this could be a little bit more tricky trying to hold the camera here and uh, work these in. So let's take a look at the back here and see what it shows. As far as uh, orientation, doesn't really show, it's just a rectangle right there. So I'm gonna say it goes in. Like I said, the camera work's not going to be the best here. It's going to go in this way. I'm thinking, no, it's going in underneath the seats. That's what, that's what these are for. I like that. It's going to protect. See how that slides right in there between the seat tracks? There we go. Look at that. Fits right in there. I mean, this lines right up 
with the trim goes between the seat tracks your center console here I didn't even have to open up the other side it just pops right in there and you can see the color blends in really well so now it's time to get the driver's side in all right for the driver front I've already removed the floor mat the original floor mat out of my 2004 Dodge Ram see all the snow here we've got a lot of snow this week so let's go ahead and get the WeatherTech liner in there it's got these grommets here that attach to the factory mounting and uh, here you can see orientation again you can see in here vacuumed it out the car wash yesterday but there's always gonna be a little bit of road salt and those are the factory mounts what I want to make sure I can do is slide this underneath the pedals without having to reach anything and it just went right in there now as far as lining this up it's not much to it should just snap right in there we go and it's in and now the truck is protected so now I just need to take it for a bit of a test drive. You can see we've got some sand down here for traction because underneath the snow is ice. You can see all the road salt and grime on the truck. We drove it up north last night. And you can see, here's the floor liner. There's water pooled up. We've already gone out in the town once today, and it's protecting the floor of the truck from all that snow and road salt. Here's the passenger side. And the back seat here on the passenger side melted snow just stays right there and keeps it off of the carpet Fast forward 17 months and I found this file on my computer. I hadn't completed the review video. So let's do it now. A lot of things have changed since you saw the previous footage. It's a new year. It's summertime. Today I installed the tonneau cover on the truck. After putting in the WeatherTech floor liner, I installed the Saddleman seat covers however the footage was terrible it was an epic failure and it really wasn't something that i could use a video that i could publish but i have to say this is my second set of saddleman seat covers and i i was happy with the previous set i'm happy with these they've really done their job and here you can see the WeatherTech floor liner has done its job the green fluid you saw Prior to this in the video was Simple Green D. That's the disinfectant version of Simple Green. I had bought a five gallon container at a big box store and it had tipped over. It didn't have a seal underneath the cap so it leaked. The floor liner did its job. It held as much as it was capable of holding. Unfortunately though, it, it overflowed and saturated the upholstery underneath. So I went back to the same big box store and I bought a small automotive upholstery carpet cleaner. And I use that to extract the Simple Green D from the upholstery. It had actually saturated it so much that it actually leaked through the frame. But it did no damage to the vehicle. And the, the carpet cleaner did its job. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a good investment because I've used it to spot clean the carpet in the house. The floor liners have been used. I've had passengers back here. I've even had a dog back here. They've got sand, road salt, rocks, 
you name it. And uh, I've even kept plants back here, uh, bringing them from the uh, the nursery at the big box stores. And I've had those tip over and spill dirt. And it's been easy to remove this, easy to clean it, easy to vacuum it out while it stays in place. It's pretty much done its job. Now let's go up to the front. The driver's front liner has got the most use of any of them. And you can see it's dirty, but it's still holding up. This liner is easy to install, it's easy to remove, it's easy to clean, it's made in America, it's very durable. If you order the right color, it should match your upholstery. I would recommend this to anybody who wants to protect their vehicle, especially if you live in a place like Michigan where there's lots of road salt. However, we have these WeatherTech floor liners in my wife's 2014 Malibu, and that's been to the American Southwest multiple times. We've got sand and rocks in there. It's been out in the heat and those floor liners have held up just fine. So based on the purchase of both floor liner or floor liners for both vehicles, I would absolutely recommend these to anybody. They are they are worth the money. They're quality, made in America. They are an investment and they're they're easy to use. I mean, there's just nothing nothing bad I can say about these floor liners. Thanks for watching.